Poaching is a threat. Uh, is a threat all over. It's a threat in Africa. It's a threat to Kenya and of course to Old Pejeta also as a as, as a conservancy. We're now losing rhinos in this country at a rate which is equivalent to South Africa uh, in percentage terms. So unless we reverse this trend, then you know sooner or later the rhino populations are going to start to decrease and disappear. Critical things for wildlife to grow it would definitely be the animals would feel secure, they have enough enough food, and then they should be able to reproduce. And all those qualities are being seen here uh, on our vegeta. And what we're seeing for the last seven years, we've seen close to 60% of uh, total wildlife increasing. We've got the northern white rhino here. Um, of course, they've been pronounced extinct in the in the wild. We have only seven. Uh, globally, out of which four are here, and the four are the only hope for breeding. We're always looking at new opportunities to enhance our capability and capacity. So we've recently invested in the development of what we're calling a conservation drone in, a, in collaboration with a company in America called Airware. Then we have a series of um, what we describe as our armed teams. They're Kenya police reservists. They're armed with automatic uh, rifles. They're trained to a very high standard. We've set up a dog section. Highly trained attack, stroke, tracker, stroke, patrol dog unit. None of these new technologies um, should be viewed as a solution in themselves. They're simply more tools in the kit box to swing the risk-benefit calculation in favor of us meaning that a poacher thinking about trying to kill rhinos, for example, would rather think again. To me, the ultimate solution to all of this is to diminish demand in the countries which demand these products, to change mindsets and, and, and perceptions in those countries about these products is going to take time. And in the meantime, therefore, what I see is the need for us to do our best to safeguard existing populations so that when demand is diminished, um, those populations still exist in reasonable numbers to be able to recover. We've been able to bring down poaching, at least on the conservancy, uh, to almost nil. So we are seeing results, but we can't sit back and celebrate and say, yes, we've achieved it. We have to keep up the pressure.